The use of search folders is a very uh, useful tool to use to find things to and from specific people on certain dates with certain terms in the body of the email. You can use uh, different search parameters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find all of the messages to and from Avis Cherry. So I'm going to go, I'm going to change the ribbon. This is the ribbon on your, uh, your newer versions of uh, Outlook. And I'm going to go to the folder and notice that when I go there, it changes the content of the ribbon. And now I have something related to folders. And I'm going to create a new search folder. And I'm going to do mail to and from specific people. And I'm going to choose. And I'm going to go to, uh, I have different address lists. Uh, it's a way to keep track of people from different um, sources. So. Uh, Avis should be in this list called contacts. Whoop, I got to spell her name right too. There she is. And that's the email address that she's been using to communicate with me. So I'm going to put that in here to and from. And I say OK. And that's all I need to know. I could uh, use some other parameters, but that's the only parameter I'm going to use. So I'm going to say OK. And then it's just going to fill up that search folder with all the messages from Avis. So this is a way that you can find all of the messages to and from uh, a specific person or a specific subject. You can do all sorts of searches. And I have a lot of different search folders down here. So you can uh, go to these search folders and look up stuff. You don't have to delete them. But it doesn't change the content or where the stuff is located. It's still in the original folder. Um, I'm going to create another search folder because uh, it's very useful to know how much unread mail I have and where it's located. So I'm going to create a search folder. And this is going to be unread mail. Notice it's right at the top because it's a very important folder to have. So I'm going to create an unread uh, folder. And it's going to create this folder for unread mail. And since I want to do this very frequently, I'm going to take this folder, unread mail, and put it into favorites. I'm going to put it right up here under junk mail. So now I have a folder, a copy of the folder. The folder is actually down here alphabetically in the S's. You know, all your, your main folders are, are alphabetical. But now I have it up here, and, and I can see it no matter what other folder I'm looking at in my email I can find that and I can go to unread mes messages and uh, and now I have this and I can organize this by folder okay that's kind of useful too because uh, when I get messages every day from uh, this source for example <clears throat> this is just a notice of everything that's going on with our uh, our uh, cloud, our Colo Banker cloud sends out messages of, of what's going on and these, these are actually uh, reports of what's going on with uh, our bank of computers. We have two banks of computers, one is in Sacramento and one is in uh, Reno. And, and I don't want to read all this stuff, you know, it's just these re daily reports. But, so I can right click on the header of this, of this and just come up here and say mark it as red. And now I've still got all the information, but now I don't have to pay any attention to it. I don't have to read it. I've dealt with it. Uh, it was very easy. I can also search in here for other, other, so I can go through my unread messages and go through by category. You know, so I can look up to see who I got important messages from. Watch notices. This is where I keep all of the carbon copies of of uh, notices I'm sending out to uh, clients as far as home searches are concerned. So that's useful to go through too. But you don't, maybe every day you don't want to read that, but it's always there because uh, it goes into this folder. I can mark that as red and now I've dealt with it. 